Say your name if you're here. <laughs> Hello? I don't think Ron has said anything. Yeah, or stuff. Hello? Hey. Ron has said anything. Yeah, or stuff. Hello? Oh, okay. Hey. Ron has said anything. You can still listen, though. Yeah, or stuff. That's fine. Take your time. I, I know it takes some time to chew. Hear you now. think yes i can hear you okay i had my mic plugged into my headphones and my headphones plugged into my mic oh nice <laughs> in my defense my room is dark <laughs> please <laughs> Okay, well, if everybody's here, um, I would ask you all to do a recap, but it's been a while, but I also don't really remember what <laughs> goes on. <laughs> um, just pitch in if you think I'm missing anything, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a lot. Wow, you take a lot of notes. I try. Can't I'm proud of you. Music player and not some sex mystery player I don't know about, right? Yeah, yeah. pancakes are jams. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> no one here. No one what here. The fuck is pancake? <laughs> <laughs> no one here capitalizes a letter in their name. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Please. How did, how did they get into our server? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> um. Let's see. You did a lot of shit. Oh god. I really don't remember what happened. How long has it been? Like a month. Yeah, basically. Um, last time, I will. Um, I think I will just say, I'll just go through the um, last mission because that downtime was a lot. Um, on your last mission, uh, Nix was contacted by uh a, another streamer who you guys had actually, you didn't meet, but you, uh were aware of, I guess, another fairly popular uh, VR streamer who was at that terrible little party that she went to a couple weeks ago. Um, uh, she called out for help, actually, to Nyx during one of her, like, PUBG matches or something. Yes. <laughs> and, um, like, died on the spot, like, when she was calling for help. Um, she gave you all uh, coordinates, or her last... Uh, no, she gave you um, the name of the ship that she was on and, and that there were people who were attacking her and someone she recognized also um, was another person who was at that party. Um, a possible um, mafia um, member. Not really 100% sure there. Um, who is actually the person ended up killing her. Um, you guys... Uh, traveled to this ship in out in the middle of nowhere and found that a couple of nor um uh you know whatever what are you call looters. looters that's the word that i'm looking for scavengers uh -huh. scavengers had had beat you to it um and did they warned you that if you went anywhere and passed the hangar of the ship then you probably would not come back out alive um you uh, disregarded their warnings and went inside anyways. Um, and after traversing through a majority of the ship, trying to find um, Holly's body, or at least some semblance of it, um, you gathered that um, enough evidence to kind of put together that somebody, um, whoever these guys were, like raided this ship or something and killed everybody here um but kind of at the same time it almost seemed like that something else decided to show up and uh, uh kill a couple of them too it was um a lot was going on <laughs> and it was very uh gnarly in there uh, the, the walls were all fleshy without there being anything else in the walls <laughs> yeah yeah it was lovely um you guys did manage to uh, pick up um, one of the strange um, weapons that these people seemed to use to uh, murder this entire crew. Um, 
something that when you fired it, uh, it shot out this, I think it was like a, a, a purple beam and then it, and then it sucked matter into like a black hole sort of thing. Um, and, um, sort of immediately after firing, you guys realize that there's some backfire where it almost felt like a shock wave rippled out throughout the space and uh, some sort of strange creature howled in the back of your heads almost. Um, but in the end, you did manage to um, escape, but actually fairly unscathed. Which I might digress. Um, and, <laughs> um, um, you escaped with. Did you take any of her stuff or any of her? We took her, her personal effects. Yeah. Okay. And you left her there because she was pretty fucked up. Um, yeah, we like looted. We looted some. I think we said we would get like extra material from looting the shuttles. Yeah. Yeah. And you took and some of that back. We mm -hmm. took her personal effects, and then we took the black hole pistol thing. Right. You uh, dunked on one of the Rebo men, the, one of the Nor guys, because he was not letting you go um, with the gun. We shot and then, one and then we tackled the other. Yeah. Um, and then you guys jump ship pretty easy, um, leaving whatever kind of horrid monster was roaming around that ship by itself, um, floating in space. Sure, we'll be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, that will never come back again. Absolutely not. Did we, did we tell us. anyone about that? I don't remember if we... Um, we kind of ended off of... We kind of ended right as you were leaving. Right, yeah. So, I mean, we can start up right there if you want. Or we can skip ahead when you guys have gotten back home already. Um... Either way, you are free to tell anybody if you want to. You will have to tell someone about the fact that Holly was killed. Yeah. Do we <laughs> want to tell our boss about the weird monster thing? Or is Isn't that something we just... Our... Ship? Our ship. Which... Which, <laughs> which faction yeah. ship was it? Yeah, I, I think it was an exo ship. That it, it was. was. Probably yeah, be -valiant. wise to tell him. Yeah, probably. Must we send on and and then they all, all murdered. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, we'll tell him whenever we get back. Okay. Um, before we s have you guys land, um, I. I it's not <laughs> no it's mechanic stuff i'm doing the end of the mission thing <laughs> i need to go through all of this um you go don't you die immediately uh roll your characters um i got tired of these ones <laughs> these suck these guys suck actually five missions in <laughs> um i'm going to um add up the like rep and um supply point stuff um can you guys we were supposed to do this at the end of um, last downtime. Can you guys like pick um, uh, like a squad upgrade, like in a special ability? Because you were supposed to level up last time, and we forgot to do oh, that. Oh, right. So just like pick what you feel like you want for a level up, and I will uh, do the reward stuff. We have to look uh, at the beam saber PDF for that. For um, uh, it's in in the. Uh, yeah, I think Ron squad looks, looks like he. Yeah, I changed the. Added one, all so. that stuff. This should Bless all be you. accurate. Truly. <laughs> oh, this is the this is the change. <laughs> yeah, I I edited all of these to match the beam. Oh, I was looking at the lair stuff. I was like, wait, we have hagfish bar? <laughs> oh, no, not that. The yep. special abilities. Nope. Yeah. The abilities, right, okay. Because the, the lairs, I don't think the lair stuff is a thing. Yeah, we don't really have a lair upgrade, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> just take three stress to dissolve a dead body. Hmm. <laughs> right. No I mean, it says dead flesh, so I, I don't like the wording on that. <laughs> Do we keep the bones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, the, just the flesh get is what with, you get rid of. Yeah. With a with a skeleton. <laughs> well, that doesn't seem worth it. You can use the bones as scaffolding for your like mech work. That seems I... morbid. I think, I think, yeah. It, I mean, when I said that I was interested in like working with organics, uh, that's that's not what I meant. <laughs> not what you had in mind. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's an option. I mean, no. I am perfectly fine not doing that. Deadly might be good. Yeah, Deadly sounds like a very safe first choice. Yeah. Hunt, Prowl, or Skirmish. Although... What, what do even? I don't think I even have any of, any of those. Skirmish is what? Close skirmish range? Struggle? <laughs> struggle, I think. I have... That's I think that's yeah, struggle. That's for your uh, mech, I think. That's for the mech? Now, uh, uh, struggle is skirmish. Yeah. So it's it's melee. Oh, okay. You didn't change it. Okay, okay. Well, I have nothing in any of those, so I'm fine. And remember, too. yeah, and remember, you can't go past three. Yet. Full dots. I could always use. Yeah, I could always use more prowls. Uh, I feel like prowl is the one we're gonna be doing most, anyways. Yeah. Uh, I think, so might I as think, well. I think getting deadly and then later on getting hey guys, predator might be good. Do you think Rio should expand his uh, engineering hours? <laughs> You're the only one that and wait no I think I mean, uh, engineers. yeah. I, I could add an extra thirty minutes to my engineering hours. Please, <laughs> not even a full hour. I mean, are we getting deadly then? Sure. Definitely yeah. work. I'll take mine and prowl. Okay. Cool. Um. Sorry, I'm just reading over the rest of the stuff. This did not take any drive clocks, so won't be doing any of that. Um. You guys can all do a free upkeep activity if you so desire right now. Keep up. If you got hurt at all i don't know if anybody did no uh, <laughs> I got a stress. Stress. Yeah, we got a yeah so any harm or damage level ones you can get rid of if you even took any but i know you did uh, nope. i did not fight and i only have three stress i hate no, you Mac didn't fight yep yeah. okay um then i need someone to roll a d6 for me for supply points. Alright, coming right up. Everyone do it. Whoever no. goes, goes first <laughs> wins. <laughs> okay. Ah. Three to six supply points. <laughs> okay, you get um, eight total supply points because you have plus two for being part of Exodus. Um, how do you want to split those up between material and personnel? How many did we get for the extra loot? <laughs> um, you got eight, or sorry, eight, what? You got six total. <laughs> so that, that four. Something a little high. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hello. <laughs> you get the four plus two. Math. We know how to do it. Yeah, I'm just. It's easy math. I can't. I can't do single digits, guys. <laughs> so you got a total of six up. Well, lead then we point. get two from our corporate democracy thing, right? Yeah, that's what brings it up to six. So split those up how you want to. Right now you have eight material and eight personnel. I bet that's where I got the eight from. Well, I'm about to use material because I'm still fixing my mech, so. <laughs> I mean, you could do 50-50 again if you want. Just do three, three. Okay. That brings you guys up to 11 and 11. Okay, great, cool. Um, and you guys get two rep. I think, let me read over, see if there was other stuff too. Higher than the squad that was not. Slower, no. 
If the mission was completely hidden, people did see you. There was two other guys who you didn't kill, so they definitely saw you. Yeah, so you guys get two rep from that. Um... Okay, cool, great, did that, did that, did that. You don't have to tell me this again. I just saw it over there. Okay, I think um, now is the time to do... Oh, I just asked Tris, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we can uh, skip over to downtime, unless you guys want to do anything in between. Do you want to, um, uh, I got nothing. like, talk to uh, Suho at all, Suho or anybody else? Giant monster. Yeah, or, and, yeah, like, inform people of the dead person that you were supposed to recover. Uh, David, I don't know what it is, but you're cutting out, like, yeah, you're pretty other, quiet. every other word. Am I? You're also pretty quiet, too. Yeah, you, you mm. sound a little quiet. I don't know if it's your mic away from your face or what, but... My mic is right next to my face. Oh, oh well... You sound better. I do have your volume cranked all the way up, though, on Discord. Yeah, I do. You have the <laughs> <Yeah>. on that. <laughs> See, I have all my See, volume... See, now you sound fine. Down ...because it's super loud on my end for no apparent reason, so something's going on. Wild. Please. <laughs> Do we even know who Holly's family is? Um, I don't think she was pretty. Um, I think she was pretty open. You could probably a uh, quick, uh, quick schmoogle search. Shmoogle. Probably figure it out. Schmoogle, right? Yeah. Schmoogle. So it wouldn't be very hard to find them at all. So yeah, we find out who her family is, and we tell Suho about the giant monster. And we send a package. We are uh, just great stuff. people. <laughs> <laughs> of course. What is the opposite of a care package? Oh, no. A despair package. A despair, <laughs> despair <laughs> package. <laughs> Not like this. I hate it. Uh, I hate you and I want you to know it package. <laughs> and also Sorry, your child you're... is dead. Sorry your but... child is dead, I guess. <laughs> I Rip. hear her things. Have fun. She was I nice, mean. I think. Don't Never mind the blood. <laughs> um, okay, you just like send her. Do you like send any like letter at all, or just like totally anonymous? Hey, we I found mean... you. We found your kid. Sorry. Uh, we should probably do that. So if we if we don't so say who don't... we are, it sort of seems like a threat. Like yeah, yeah. yeah like, so we don't let them know that it was someone who. We came across your daughter's. We're we're not sending a message. We came yeah. across your, your daughter's dead body. We came across her possessions and her body. We were too late to help. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. I think just we were uh too late to help. Yeah. This is what we could recover, and that's it. Yeah, you know, it's best not to always give all the details. They they don't need any more than that, I, I think. Yeah, we don't really need to tell them like who we are or anything either. Just... Yeah. Anything more also makes us sound like assholes, so... Yes. <laughs> or suspicious. Short and sweet. Yeah, that too. Suspicious either assholes. which we wish to be. I mean, we kind of are, but you know, we don't want to be perceived as that. <laughs> True. <laughs> don't look at us. You guys have an image to keep up, at least half of you do. We do. I mean... Two of you Some are celebrities. Right I missed that memo. <laughs> Some people do. <laughs> okay, yeah, you send over a package to um the the, the Holly Estate, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, you don't receive anything in return. Not like a um, thanks at all. Just a <laughs> silence on their end. I mean, I feel like that will be very weird. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry that you had to see your body. <laughs> Why didn't you recover the body for us? <laughs> um, no, they don't send you anything. Um, 
yeah, there's that. You wanted to talk to um, Suho also. Tell him about the. <laughs> we need <monster>. something bad. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> A number of things. Yeah, ring him up well, then. It what do we bad. wait? What do we? What do we? What do we tell him that we were just like doing a private, private job, private mission, and we came across a weird one of ours tentacle monster thing on one of Exo's ships. Uh, you know, we, we, we were doing a we were doing the job, and we came up on <laughs> flesh sludge. You know, we weren't prepared for flesh sludge. No one ever is. Uh, and yeah, let's keep sure. any talk of the weapon out of it. Oh, no. He, he, he don't even hear none of that. About? What weapons? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay, I, I dial him up. Hey, Suho. How it going? Rio? Uh, speaker. Oh right, right, right. Uh, hit the speaker button. Hey, uh, <laughs> is, uh, is this on like your face? Whole, you're just opening your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, and then I put, and then I, 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 I like do a little thing, and I, uh, right, I should probably put on the uh, the video call function. Bam! There you go. Projection. <laughs> hey, Suho. Got the whole team here today. Oh, but this is new. You never call me. I'm always calling you guys first. Uh, so you, you know, got to mix it up every once in a while. Very true. So you know, just wanted to uh, give you, um, you know, a, a, a debriefing on our latest job. Right? Did you um, tell Sue about really this don't. originally? No, we didn't. <laughs> so he doesn't know we went out. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm pretty sure it was only kicks that no. Yeah, we just told kicks to take us. So he's like, we were we were we were doing some personal work, personal business that we had to take care of. Um, right. So you took um, one of the company ships to do that? Uh, funny story about that. Mm. Well, we were kind of in uh, a rush and, you know, we thought yeah. just be fast, come, go in, come back. The ship is fine. It didn't, it didn't come under any harm. Yeah, we just use sure. it for transport. You know, left it far away. The max too. Okay. So you wanted to tell me um, that you were um no, we, in personal business? We came across uh one of Exo's ships, the X Valiant. Um it appeared to be Under, no, it was yeah, it was in disrepair and like sort of abandoned. We came across some looters, and we also, once we boarded the ship, we came across a. How do you how do you describe what we saw? Um, uh, well, I can send him a simulation if he wants to. Yeah, how about how about how about you send him like a three D model this nasty monster? Yeah, yeah, I give it. Uh, I I embellish it. It's a good thing you did that because the moment we got off the ship, I deleted those data files. I think I, didn't you like hack into like the cameras and? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I record everything, so I probably have. Oh yeah, that's true. I give him like the heavily edit edited version. He doesn't need to know everything. <laughs> we just okay. upload that to the call. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Um, he sees it and he's like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, you... uh, that that's still on the ship when we left. So yeah, you might want to take care of that. Yeah, you left it there. Okay. You like oh, see him like looking at it for a second, <laughs> and then he looks like it's like doing like research. Like he has like his fingers in the air, like he's like typing something that you can't see. <laughs> uh -huh. And he's like, "That was on just a." The Valiant's just a cargo cruiser. Why did you even go there in the first place? We 
we're looking for an acquaintance of ours. On the ship? Well, we didn't know it was the ship. We just knew, you know, the location. And then we get there and it turns out it's, well, one of ours, yours, whatever. <laughs> this is what it looks like? Yeah. Uh... You guys, uh, you probably haven't played uh, Carry On, the Switch game. Oh, Same I monster. just I just bought that on uh, the Halloween Steam sale. Yeah, it rules. Play it. Uh, I am excited. <laughs> what it looks like. <laughs> Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> why we why we went to the ship? Right, 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 right. You saw it on acquaintance. That's right. Okay. Um, whatever. Personal stuff, I guess. S still not sure why you decided that you needed to take your mechs with you, but well, just in case because we are paranoid. Yeah, I mean, paranoid. We did, we're we just right. meeting your friend. I'm we very did, confused. We did come across looters with their own mechs, so it was a good thing that we took them just in case. Who are these? Always be prepared. What? Who are these? Were they exo looters? Nor looters. Okay. They had already been there for a while when we arrived. Interesting. Uh, I, I can't say they were in my databases. No, usually looters are. Uh like to keep themselves detached from everybody else except the uh, leader of the hive mind. Just to be safe. Um, yeah, I, I don't have that guy on speed dial. Out of yeah. character, do we want to tell him anything about Sentinel or that Akia dude? No. I don't know. Probably do we trust not. this man? Probably not. Probably not, yeah. It's an O basis only. He's a trustworthy man. Do you see how how much effort he puts into his hair? How, how slick his yeah, hair is. That, yeah, <laughs> that, that's why I don't trust him. Spends too much time on his There's hair. There's too much care. <laughs> no one's hair should look like that outside of VR. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's all we tell him in terms of what we saw. All right, all right. Well, um, okay, um, if you're just going to leave this monster on the ship. Well, uh, when you say it like that. Well, you didn't do anything about it. I mean, it's not something you, you want, want to, to do, do anything about. I don't know. It wasn't my monster. It wasn't my personal mission. It's not our monster. It's your ship. It's one it's of your ships. Ship. It's not my ship. It's one of those ships. Our ship. <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't work works. for, I don't work for uh, one of the big companies that owns all these ships, guys. We're a small business. Listen, but you can let someone know, right? You have like contacts with. Yeah, then it's their problem. I mean, I yes. Shoot someone, it up the, the military chain of command. <laughs> I can just send an anonymous message, I guess. Mm, no, I think that would be very shady of you to do. Um, I'm just gonna come clean. Just, just a Listen. suggestion. <laughs> Listen, you guys, I know that you all need to uh, be, uh, you know, uh, anonymous for uh, different reasons for each of you. I will just contact Apex about it, okay? Uh, the EX chips are all of theirs. I'll just let them know, and then they'll take care of it. Um, and you guys know that um, Apex, um, also known as Apex Empire Military Industries, is like... Um, the uh amazon of uh exo nice. it's one of the one of the big guys um and they do primarily uh military and cargo stuff um so he's just gonna contact that me should i just tell them to get rid of it or should i tell them that there's a freaky monster on there i think just destroy the ship from a distance maybe okay i will just i will just tell them that there is contaminants. Somebody spilled something. And they should just blow it up. Yeah, I, I don't know if confronting the thing would be wise. Great. Cool. 
Next time you guys decide to take one of the company ships on a personal mission, you can let me know. Like we did. I'm not gonna kill you. <laughs> I know. We let we let you know after what? This is this is this is us letting <laughs> you know. Letting you know. <laughs> sure, sure. Listen, I. I know Kix is on your side about all this stuff, but really, I'm not going to kill you if you let me know ahead of time. We end the check. Inside. You can't. <laughs> you inside check. <laughs> the, what is an inside check? Why are you you guys don't about? have. You don't have insight in this game. You said to take my word for it. No. <laughs> Anyways, Suho. After he says that, he immediately signs off. Great. Okay. Oh, that so went great. That went well. Better than we were expecting. Now what? Now we go home and forget about the giant monster. Oh, yeah. Hey, Real, I need some of that uh, engineering expertise. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I got some time. Got to uh, well, schedule the repairs now, <laughs> or you yeah, yeah, fill up uh, your schedule. Can, can, can you put it on my schedule log? Yeah, done. All right, well, uh, yeah, I guess that checks out. A little tight, but if I can make that work. Wow, a little tight. I, like there's nothing on <laughs> your just... schedule. <laughs> I just looked at all your... I mean, I just it looks like, like, it, I it looks like there's it's like, hey, <laughs> it looks like lying? there's nothing on my schedule, but there's a lot. I mean, what I are you just? Gonna I, do a, I do I, 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 I do a lot with very little. Are you just gonna watch TV the entire time again? What what is it you watch? The Black Sport, Black Market, ESPN, or something? Yes. <laughs> God, that's right. BSPN. It's like the BSPN. <laughs> no. yes. BSPN. Are you just going to watch that the entire time? But, uh, yeah, I figured I was going to watch some BSPN, maybe turn on a movie. Okay, but, at the same time? Well, no, I was going to watch the I was going to watch BSPN first. And then oh, I was going to okay. turn on this, I didn't think you had the the, the and, and then I was going to turn on this uh, new slasher film about like a BSPN Booker Gone Rogue. And not judging your uh, taste in movies, but okay, maybe I am judging a little. <laughs> I just love sports. What can I say? <laughs> I, I, I do just feel like helping Nyx repair her mech might be a bit higher on the list of priorities than watching more BSPN. I mean, the second one is fictional BSPN. I mean, I can just get you free access to whatever other channel you want. You can just get on demand. Free. Can you, what is it? Like, can you TVR it? What TVR. are you talking about? Record the stream. Yeah, record the... Record the... Uh, give me a moment. I gotta search my databases for that word. Oh, God, you are... Ooh, that is... That is old. That's Where did you find that ancient. word? <laughs> Who even says that? No one. What does that even mean? I really I don't, don't know. I, I, uh, I, it, it's too complicated. I don't understand what this technology is. What does? Anyways, technology? I'll just just tell me what you want to watch. I'll make sure you can get it. Okay, I want to watch BSPN Slasher Night Five: Return of the Slasher. There's five of them. Return no, of the ten. slasher. There's ten. <laughs> and that's not counting the two reboots. How many Obviously. rogue agents are there? Bad tracks. <laughs> well, there's one rogue agent, but the one rogue agent might be five different guys. Can, can we just get on with the repairs, please? All right, sure. <laughs> okay, well, maybe, why does that not count as cut loose? I don't. Maybe maybe we should have like a movie night at some point. And he shows you guys I should. Mean, we can count them. No, <laughs> you guys yeah, have to all, have a movie we all, night. We all to cut, cut loose. loose with Rio and watch a movie. <laughs> Flasher. 
All right. Okay. Let's get into it. I'm willing to burn two activities. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have stress. I need to get rid of. Yeah, I also have stress. I need to get rid of. So maybe we do like a group movie. <laughs> we can do. Yeah, let's uh, do a group movie night. Um, does anybody else need to cut loose at all? I do. More than you two. <laughs> I have five stress to get rid of. I only have three stress, so I don't know if I should. You guys can just participate. You don't have hey, to like roll nice. for it. Nice. How do you roll an adult choice? One. Sad. <laughs> so sad. I gotta, I, uh, I'm going to have to do it again with someone. Actually, yeah, you guys okay, watch some yeah. great movies. You guys watch great movies. Um, I think... Um, ooh. The two. Perfect. Um, actually, that works. It's because it's not the four. Because yes. that would be bad. Your, your movie night would go sour. <laughs> You'd really have to flavor that interestingly. Amazing. Uh, um, yeah, what you do you guys just watch all of these uh, BSP and slasher movies like all in a row? Yeah, I complain yeah. about the the marathon. About, about the BFX of the whole time. <laughs> like, I go it's have super that low better. quality. <laughs> that's kind the charm. Complains about like the really low effort plot in every single movie. That's like the same every time. Come on, guys. So, guys. guys. Right. <laughs> that was movie night. What you think? Thought it was pretty great. Well, they're entertaining. It's what I'll give you. I would think they would figure it out after the first agent went rogue. There were so many rogue agents. So. I mean, honestly, at that point, maybe they just deserved it. I don't know, I man. Think... I think I think that like the fourth one was kind of nice. Was fun, a little spicy, you know, but when the... when it wasn't the guy. But the sixth one, when they revealed that they were all the same rogue agent stuck in some multiversal time loop. Oh yeah, they lost me. No idea what that was about. Uh, Hannah, if you want to like mark off like two relationship clocks for like like two different people, okay. I'll okay. guess I'll do Rio and I'll do one with Rio and one with Nick. Oh wait, yeah, I'm just only do going yeah. If one. you only cut loose once, then just do one person. But sure, Rio it is. We overindulged at the movie. <laughs> yes. Nice the movies oh, were too shit. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, where are you? Are you just doing your movie night at home? Yeah. Probably yeah. in like our lair. Yeah. Okay. You're just like, oh, because it's like a we theater. We projected on like the yeah. theater. Yeah. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> how does how does this work at home? Are we oh, gonna get God, a noise get... complaint? Our our neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Please. The lights. <laughs> the noise. We're watching the movie too loud. Okay. Okay. You accidentally like Bluetooth into the into the theater sound system. Right. And like playing it in their house. Okay, so you can so this is for Rio, since you're the one who overindulged. You can do um there are four different ways that you can overindulge. You can attract trouble, you can brag, you can go a wall, or you can uh do uh impropriety. Ooh, I don't like that word. Um I'll just list them off. To attract trouble, um, you have to roll an additional entangle entanglement um, using the table of dice, whatever. So you'll just roll an entanglement and then shit will happen. Um, bragging is you take negative two trust with your patron faction. Um, going AWOL is you just dip for a while and you don't, you would have to roll a new character. Um, and then the last one is uh, you make an ass out of yourself in front of the pilot that joined you and you reset your connection clock with them to zero. Oh, everyone. <laughs> so that that everybody, seems I that seems very fitting, actually. That seems about right. Yeah. So this he is, is for hosting Rio. the movie night too. <laughs> yeah. So you could take your pick, David, whichever you choose. <laughs> uh. So reset my relationship clocks to zero, or 
Um, you can brag, which is take negative two trust with your patron faction. So that would be like um, XO in general or attract trouble and that's rolling an entanglement. And that's usually like last time we did that. And um, like you guys had like a negative one die yeah. on your engagement roll. Or you can just leave. Or you could just uh, fuck off for a while and roll someone else. <laughs> but we just got closer. And then he forced you to watch ten movies. <laughs> yeah, In a me. row. So just like, never again. <laughs> uh... I'll just, let me, here, I'll just screenshot so you can read them over again. I am all this because we had we watched some goddamn movies. We watched too many movies. Too many movies. Before. We probably should have stopped at VSPN Night Nine, Revenge of Space Agent. I mean, this isn't even a movie night. It's just like a full on like movie day of like full. <laughs> like... Yeah, that's ten movies. And in the future, you know they're all three hours. Like 20, 20 plus hours of watching movies. <laughs> I think we would all come out of that room. All movies like... in the future are three hours. Yeah, they're yes. all longer. <laughs> well, I don't want to go AWOL because I don't want to make another character right now. Uh, I'm not sure what I would be bragging about in this scenario. Oh, we watched ten movies in a row. Fuck I, you guys. I, I could attract the trouble of the franchise director? I, I don't know. Maybe you get like super drunk or something and you just like run out onto the street and like make a ruckus. <laughs> uh, who hated these movies the most? Um, <laughs> how did how did how did Ward feel about human entertainment? Ward would probably just be extremely confused, like the entire time. Like uh, the the first movie would probably make the most sense, and that is what they assume like all movies are like. But then, with every plot twist in the next movie, they just get more and more confused. So it's not like it's not that they didn't like it, but they're just not comprehending. I, I, I regret to inform you that your relationship clock is now zero. Okay. It's fine. Got yeah, real confused. Too confused. Can you take harm if you don't have any connection? <laughs> yeah, do, have you cut loose uh, Rio with Ward before? Uh, I have one in all of these relationship clocks. Why is that? <laughs> That's because you start with one. Yeah, you start yes. with one. So basically, you're at zero. So I think that would mean that you take level one harm alone. Hey, I have no friends. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Movie night went so well that I lost anything I had resembling a friend. Please. There's like, a, like everybody leaves like after the movie night, and you're just like by yourself, and you're like, fuck. With like all the junk food left behind. <laughs> yeah, like no, having like have... like do all the cleanup yourself. The way that I have three dicks on my relationship clock with Rio. <laughs> but he hasn't, like, came to you at all. You just keep coming Rio's, to him. Yeah, Rio's making no effort back. One-sided yeah. punch. Hey, I, I, I tried just leave. now, and it didn't go well. Oh, this poor man. <laughs> all right, well, so that took care of everybody's first round of downtime and Hana's twice. Oh, and Rio's? No. Okay, so everybody did it once, and then Hana did it twice. I'm probably going to use the supply thing to do something later. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we've done one round already. So let's bring it back up to Ward for the second round of downtime stuff. Okay. Um, we will work on drive clock, I guess. Cool beans, cool beans. Um, Let's see, we're researching
guess we'll try to uh, We're about halfway there. Yeah. Engineer and see if we can like um I guess hack through some databases and see if there's any sort of information out in the that would Okay. You also have that um I think in the past or last time you had a uh that like hard drive or something that you were digging through. That you initially found out about Leap, but you well, I don't know if Hana shared the information with you that a uh, gun um was also designed right. by Leap, but yes. Not yet. So Fine, I guess. Yeah, I don't think we talked about that. So yeah, go ahead and do your engineering if you desire. Yeah. What? Got a six. Hello. That fills three segments. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that fills the clock. Let's go. Okay, okay. Let me... Crack open my notes real quick. <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I cannot in here. fix my my Mac. <laughs> Five sessions. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> uh, um, Swag. Okay, 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 okay. Um, so you are describe to me what this engineering looks like. Um. So I think after some like quick schmoogle searches. Um, Ward isn't able to find anything in, like, general... Um, general... like, public domain. Um, so Ward heads out and uh, goes to, like, some... I guess data centers and stuff. And like casually, like sneaks a tentacle over the wall and and tries to like <laughs> spark his way into the system and like try and lift some data that way. Yeah, very very subtly, you just drag a tentacle across the wall and you sort of sap up some of the uh, electricity and data following. Um, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Leap. I think um, what you do find is that there has seems to be a lot of like um, talk of like a, a leap as like a organization or maybe a company or something as um um within sort of like banking servers i think is what you end up finding it's a lot of moving money um and you find like a lot of this money um under the name leap is being moved to um very far off world um to a planet well to a planet in a different system, um, in a system that is sort of on the edge of civilization. It's um, not something that's really well traversed. Um, it's kind of on like, <laughs> I think if you do a little bit more research since you rolled a six and also finished your clock at the same time, <laughs> um, yes. you um, check out this system a little bit more and you find out that... Um, it's it's a eight planet system with sort of a yellow star um and a lot of this money is being moved to the fourth planet in the system kind of a little small red planet very uh, very mars like i think um different though because it when you like get a like a search of it like or like an image up of it like on like i don't know like one of your terminals or something 
it has oceans, but it is still very rusty, like very rusty oceans. Um, okay. Um, and I think if you like kind of zoom out a little bit and take a look at this whole system, something that um, you notice is that the third planet, the one right next to this one, closer to the star, looks very similar to that other one that you had just decoded a couple sessions back. Um, and there's like almost like no information about it. It's like, like this planet, um, like this, like <laughs> everybody who's like been there has been like, this planet's useless. We don't need to be here. There's nothing worthwhile of like any of the factions to go here. But it's weird because like Leap seems to really like it and this other red planet right next door. Um, and I think that's what you find out about Leap. Um, and while you're digging through all of this information, I think, um, well, I think that'll wait. That might wait for later. <laughs> that'll happen though, today. Um, do you have any other, do you have like questions? Because I am happy to answer any about Leap because you finished your clock. Um, do you, are you here right now? <laughs> no, I have a question. <laughs> you, you go ahead first. I'm trying to figure out how to word this. I don't know, asking out of character because I, I had learned about another system that was on like the part of like border of I, I don't know, I put border space. That was like, wasn't really yeah. gone to. Mm -hmm. The system was almost like quarantined off by other factions. And I think you had told me it was at like a very edge of known space. So I'm wondering if this is the same thing. You guys should chat. Maybe we should, but also... <laughs> She doesn't have any reason to talk about these kids with anyone yet. No. So it wouldn't come up. Anyways, you can go. I was just wondering out of character. Um Yeah, so is is that is that third planet that? Or is it something that I had previously found? Because I am I, the player, am not remembering. It's the 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 planet that um, you guys saw yeah, in the, the very first mission. Yeah, the one about the geothermal activity and shit like so that. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. From the same, from, yeah, from the same data of the the people okay. who were spying on you. Okay. Interesting. Um. Okay, but then how does this how does this tie into um, Zerter? I think you will get that at the end of downtime. I'll tell okay. you about it. Um, big money offshore. It's a it's a laundering. I wonder if this has Sentinel... anything to do with the mafia. Well, yeah, wasn't Sentinel involved with like banking and stuff? I put everyone knows that Sentinel is an application that tracks tracks banking accounts and finance. Yeah, and is this off planet banking? Coincidentally, quote unquote, the same name as um the, the Aporian mafia. The mafia, yeah. Governments have been trying to connect the app with the mafia for years. This is yeah. This probably has something to do. Interesting. Maybe Leap runs Sentinel, and they work with the mafia. Leap is like their head IT guy. <laughs> Planet system that's super far away. Also includes the planet. Activity. It says, "Do not go here." Well, we're oh, wow. looks like we're going there. 
we will not go take there. this advice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, yeah. I have any further questions on how this ties into other tests, but I guess we'll get to that later. Yes, we will get to that later. Um, okay, let's bring it up to uh, Rio. Do you have anything to do for your second time around? Second time around, I am uh, not going to watch more BSBN. Oh, unfortunate. I am going to, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to, uh, reach out to, uh, my buddy Sycamore, the reporter that covers interplanetary affairs. And I'm like, hey, Sycamore, it's Rio. I need you to do a full scope investigation into the uh saboteur system and uh let me know uh if you've heard anything about uh uh Any uh, suspicious uh, transactions going to any uh, singular location? Rio, I'm going to be honest with you. That's real broad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not a criminal mastermind over here. Or a detective. Clearly. Uh, uh, do you... It just any at all? Do you want names? What's uh, saboteur is a lot of money moving. Uh, <laughs> any, anything in particular you can find about uh, Giovanni Fogliano? Or you can just say that you wanted me to look. Did you just want me to look up Sentinel? Because I could do that. The mafia back there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um. You roll me whatever you think. You, I don't know, convincing this guy to help you look out for stuff or something. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, uh, again, I wrote a really good email. Yeah, you're real good at emails. <laughs> okay. Five's good, though. Um, a five gets you two segments on your clock, so you can... Ah, that's finished. <laughs> Everyone finishing this. Ah, Another I'm drive. For this. Uh, okay, okay. Let me scroll through my notes. Where is the shit I have about Giovanni? It doesn't it's, exist. It's in here. <laughs> it's in here. Is he a, is he a gym leader? He's a gym leader. <laughs> you have to fight him with your Pokemon. Oh my god, where is it? Okay, here we go. Um. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool. All right. So you're just like... You're gonna have to be a little bit more specific for me. So you're looking for... Like... Shady transactions from, like the system of saboteur to like a single point or like a like a group of transactions going to one place you to narrow down the location of Vogliano. oh you're looking for him specifically yeah okay you're dating no do you find Fogliano's dump truck ass? <laughs> wow. he, he's, he's trying to hide from Rio, but his the sound of his how does that mean go? His dummy thick. <laughs> his dummy thick cheeks. Dummy thick. Yes. He's alerting the. God. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, canonized. Um, <laughs> let's see. I think we are. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Um, you find that I think like what your what your pal does is they like look, um, like into um they like download the Sentinel app and um go into its files and like hack into it enough that like they um can pinpoint um moments of like i don't know if it's like like it looks almost like people who like have like a paid subscription for this app like some of that paid subscription money is going to a different place besides like the um like the like known sentinel business it's like moving away um and you could probably assume that all that is going towards um wherever uh Foglione and his his dudes decide to hang out um in their uh smoky bar play poker um so your you your friend does a little bit more research on that specifically, and I think they find out that um Oh, I'm really gonna have to pull this out of my ass, aren't I? Okay. Um the guy seems like he's holed up um on where the fuck are my planets? Hold up, hold up, hold up on um um, the smallest of all of Saboteur's moons. Um, not the one that you're from. A different one. A one that's kind of shitty. Uh, <laughs> one that, like, um, I think, uh, most of the people there, um, that it doesn't have, like, a, um, an atmosphere this moon because it's so small and shitty. Um, so, like, a lot of the people who do live there live in, like, um, domes, and they are, like, mostly farmers. I mean, it's, like, small towns, like, little communities. But it seems like a lot of that, like, a heavy amount of all of this this um, subscription money is going to this, like, little farm town on a moon, um, which I should probably name. Generator. <laughs> Listen. This is I'm fine. not saying anything. This is fine. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll I'll come up with a name. <laughs> I um, didn't say anything. <laughs> you made a noise. Okay, sure. <laughs> uh, as all human beings do by existing. <laughs> I breathe. Um, this name... Oh, that's a real bad one. I think I'm going to use it. <laughs> this, the, the, this tiny little moon is named, um, Cumhocked. Cumhocked? Spelled as you... Please! Think <laughs> like you said, Cumhocked. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, not no. that far off. Close enough. It's, no. <laughs> yeah, it's the this same. Yep. Guy. Yep. Hi. yep. <laughs> you guys living on Cumhawk. Okay. You're living on Cumhawk. <laughs> uh, mm. uh, Pitting for the mafia. Um, anyways. Yeah, no one suspects the mafia to live on cum the cum moon. <laughs> um, no. I hate everything about this. I hate it so much. Why? Uh, um, but like... um. Rio, you've never been to this moon. Yeah, I have. Um, because no one, everybody hates this moon. It sucks. No one goes yeah. to come back. No one goes here because it sucks. Um, so, um, <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> you guys are the ones that wanted me to name half the shit after Red Velvet. Let me have this. Um, <laughs> Let me have this. Uh, oh. Sure, <laughs> you okay, can, yeah, yeah you sure. Can have the cum moon. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, this is where you find all of this money to be going to. Um, and I think your guy is like, there's like nothing else <laughs> about 
there's like nothing else about this moon that like is like suspicious at all except for this like very large amount of money being trans um trans for to it try so wrong just it's it's a night today um <clears throat> i's fine you're fine <laughs> So, I mean, you can take a wild guess and say that he, this is where Giovanni is holed up right now, or you can, I don't know, keep researching or something. I could show up there with my mech and just blast the biggest building I see. And then miss. Sure. And <laughs> yeah, you won't have reinforcements at all. No, I can, I can, I can, I can. Totally do this alone. Yeah, he's not the mafia at all. Not a big mafia boss of a interplanetary <laughs> organization. These no, will no, end well. No big military, I mean, crime boss would live on such a planet. Of course. Obviously. Of course, obviously. That's why all the money's being transferred to it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any questions about any specifics at all uh, since you finished your clock i'll let you have something if you want something else um like anything what else can he want he has a common yeah he's got the common what else right um uh, <laughs> does uh fogliano have uh any uh Exploitable weaknesses. Um, I think like the guy, like in general, he's um kind of in one of those uh um Al Capone situations where he like everybody knows that he's a mob boss, but no one can get him for it because he hides it so well. Um. Uh. In that case, uh, where can I find the IRS? <laughs> Please. <laughs> the uh, intergalactic IRS. Very easy to dial up. You would have to talk to, like, the Aporian IRS, and I don't think they would let you. Because you're not affiliated. With that faction. No, for a fact, this man isn't paying his taxes. And this guy's gonna be like, bullshit, you're XO and you want more money. Shut up. And then hang up. <laughs> So I'll give you that, but okay. okay. <laughs> um, enjoy that, I guess. Uh, but you can start up a new one clock, I guess, uh, next turn or next downtime, whatever you feel. But in the meantime, we will move on. Um, okay. Um, Nix, you still have one more or two more. Perfect. I will gallop Rio and we'll do our scheduled um engineering. Engineering. Me and engineer for getting the word engineering. Right, well hurry up and get down to the office. We're running low on time here. Hey don't hurry that we scheduled this so so you have time. Yeah, like I said, it's a very packed schedule. Look, please just take a look at the Mac. Maybe, I'm maybe it'll look. work this time. Look, I I know what I'm doing. We're gonna get this figured out. I will believe in you. We're not gonna get this. Figured <laughs> out. Wow, you're filling up a clock, right? With this yeah. one, you get a segment. <laughs> Six out of eight, guys. Oh my god. Rio, you we have to roll better. <laughs> you, re you really got to try going to ward a few times. <laughs> yeah, you really got to skip out on Rio. Yeah, no, my next uh, downtime activity I'm is really going to be going to ward. ward. <laughs> I'm really trying, but you've got some really unique technology here. Like, I I've never Listen. seen anything like this. You got to get past all the ads. <laughs> Please. That's important. You can't just take them out. <laughs> I mean, They're sponsored. Yeah, I, 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 I don't use this brand, so I don't know how Mix it is works. under contract. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Anyways, where are we going? If you want, I could totally overwrite your entire system. No, no, do not touch the software. That's mine. But it would work afterwards. Uh, no. Say it. It, it will not for what I want it and need it to work. It will not. No, don't touch it. But then I could fix it afterwards. Do you want me to hack into yours and make it play? I don't know. What movies do you hate? You look well, like you hate well, No, because my system is literally plugged into my brain. And I could hack your brain. Yeah, How no, hard don't. could it be? Well, I mean, it, it's complicated. There's a whole very broad network that spans multiple star systems. It's it's a thing. And? Is How bad can one brain be? Uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Listen, just, just leave it alone, please. I'll figure it out. Thanks for your time, anyways. Okay. Well, <laughs> you're getting there, right, guys. You're, you're getting, getting there. there. <laughs> um, uh, Hana, do you have one more thing? Yeah. Um, there's two things I would like to do. The first one is <clears throat> see if I can find where my rival is. Like, if she's okay. in town or in the area, I would like to try to start searching for her. Sure, you want to ring her up? Can I ring her up? <laughs> I, I don't know. You I would probably have to roll I, something for it. I don't think I have, like, her number or anything. No, she would not give you... Unless she number. has, like, the same number. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you can do... Uh, do you want this to be, like, a project kind of thing? To like see if you can hunt her down, or do you want to like? How do you feel like you want to do this? What is what are the options? Um, I mean, the easiest Other thing to do would be to. to like start a project. Um, that I would only make like four ticks because it wouldn't be that difficult to do. It'd just be like, is she here? Just fighting yeah. someone. Um, I mean, other than that, you could like go out and talk to someone. If you wanted to, I think we can, you can like spend personnel to like chat with people. Let me look. Uh... Pressure locals. Pressure locals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if this is like a personal gain or like a drive thing, then I would probably have it be like a project. Okay. Yeah. I'll just because everything that. else is, has like a specific reason I wanna, why you do it. Yeah, I want to try to figure out where she is in town. Okay. Or if um, she's in town and where if she is in town. Sure. Since you're looking for like a specific person, um, and you're like, like yeah, like if you're looking for a specific person, I'll only have this before since you know who she is and you know what she looks like and you probably know her habits. And she recently um, just stabbed me. And she recently just stabbed you, so. It won't make this be very difficult, but you do still need to roll for it. I will study. Yeah, I'll study. Okay. Can I expend our things to get like an extra dice? Yeah, you can do either material or personnel, I think, to give yourself a boost. I'll expend one of those. Do an extra dice. Cool. Risky, standard bonus dice. Five. Five. That gives you two, I think. Two? Okay. Yep, two segments. How are you uh, studying here? Um, what does this look like? So I have like a journalist friend mm -hmm. um, who does like a lot of work with the group. And I think I would probably ask her if she can like hit up any of her friends like in the inter like any like photographers or i don't know just like any social influencers in the city um and see if they've spotted anyone like her seen anyone that's like her really weird like out word like her appearance itself like stands out quite a bit and yeah i just want to see if they can round up like any sightings of her across the city or anything. 
Sure. Yeah. Um, with a five, I will say. Mm. Um, let me think. Um, I think your journalist friend, like, calls up a private investigator. <laughs> um, but they do private investigating on, like, uh, celebrities and stuff. Yeah. They don't call themselves a paparazzi because that's not what they are. They're a private investigator. Um, but they do paparazzi things. Um, um, and... Maybe like a, a like a day or so later, I think um, you come back or like your journalist friend comes back to you with like a couple of pictures, like real blurry, like almost like CCTV style pictures of like a couple of like different locations. And like each of them, like in these pictures, there's like someone circled here that has like blue hair um, of like kind of like a similar um like length and like style as your rival, but um, like it's hard to tell because like she's either moving too fast or spotted in multiple different locations at like kind of the same time frame. So um, at least you have like, I would say there was like three, like there was one of them in like a club, um, like late at night. Um, there was one in like, um, like in like a supermarket, like a really um, packed supermarket with like a lot of local vendors. Um, and then there was another one that was like um, exiting a like a um, a business, like a, a skyscraper business. Um, I don't think like you can't quite make out like which one is like either actually her or like if they're all her but in different places at the same time. Um, it's hard to tell. The, the photos are um, not great. <laughs> um, but you get at least, like, sort of, a, like, she's been to a couple of places, so maybe she'll go back. Or Are, are all of these locations, like, nearby each other? Like, um, one area yeah. I would say, like, if the city had, like, um, specific neighborhoods, like kind of like New York does. It would probably be in like a centralized neighborhood. I think it's probably um, maybe one of the coastal ones. So like if the city is like right on the coast, then she's kind of hanging out um, in that sort of, it's not like a fairly upscale one at all. It's kind of maybe mid-tier. question is this part of like my overall drive of my syndicate thing or is this um i don't know if you think that like like what's like the end goal of like trying to find her uh get her to stop trying to kill me and to help me <laughs> you can ask um uh, <laughs> I mean, I would say no, because like your drive is to like, is it, is your drive to stop the syndicate? Is that what it is? Yeah. And, that's like what the, that's like what the rescue is. Like rescue the kids. I guess so. Kids. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so like, yeah, I mean, part of that would be ending, like, if you're ending her then that's ending the syndicate. Yeah. And, yeah. Because she clearly knows things that I don't about what's going on with the kids, so. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, so that was your last regular downtime action. Um, we'll bring it back up to Ward for the final round of stuff. Um... Any other miscellaneous stuff to do? I start up. 
Um, you can do some schmoozing if you want, like to uh, make your faction like you more so you get better rewards. Um, you could get more supply points, but you already have a billion. Um, let's see. You could um, do any of like the material stuff, which is like working towards getting a new quirk or building something or acquiring an asset like a cohort or something. You could find yourself uh, a, um, what are the Dimitri and what are their names? Yeah, the Fleshings. Fleshing. The Fleshings. You could find yourself a Fleshing if you wanted to. I think. Their outer space counterparts. <laughs> yeah, we need we need some. The we could probably use some fleshings. Sure. Let's try to hire some fleshing. Okay. Uh, um. That's not what I want. Sorry, right, I gotta find. I think that was just collect. Oh, acquire asset. Oh, I gotta scroll. All right, let me read this stuff. Okay, so you roll the squad's tier, which I think is still zero. <laughs> um. And then you can also, um, you can spend material to give yourself or dice, I believe. Um, yeah, okay. Since we're tier zero, still definitely got to If I remember right, it's it like scales based on how high you roll. Yeah. Yes. I have a ton of material. And two material to roll two D. Sounds good. Four. Sweet. Four and four. All right. A four, I think, gets you just a tier. This is definitely a typo on <laughs> here, but I'm assuming this is just a tier zero instead of a tier plus one and a tier negative one. Um, so you'll just get like a a guy. A, a guy. Um it's a good what's a good D name. Yeah, we need a new name. Are they still going to be flushing? Yes. <laughs> it has the future flushings. I should like that adopted. Give it Dominic. A <laughs> Dominic with a K. Dominic with a K. <laughs> yes, Dominic flushing. Excellent, excellent. Dominic with a K, but it's K Dominic. The K is <laughs> it's K. It's K apostrophe. <laughs> Please. Oh, you pronounce it Dominic. <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> oh my god. Amazing. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yes, we'll take him. All right, sweet. Um, I gotta see. There's a certain type of cohorts, and they don't tell me. What they are. Ain't it? If a cohort. Wait, go back up. Shit. I know 
Well, there's a certain there's a certain brand of cohorts, and I got it. Here they are. Okay. Yeah, there should be like a yeah. chart. Yeah, I just don't know where it is in all of these um, 500 pages of this book. <laughs> 33? Choose to make a fire team. There it is. Special. Creating a cohort. Yeah, so you have to do a bunch of stuff. What? There's so much stuff. A lot of stuff. I know. Does it need like to be a, this in depth, fellas? There's like two and a half pages on just cohorts. <laughs> All right. So, do you want like a, do you want a specialist or a fire team? I feel like maybe a specialist since you just gave one name. Yeah. They're just like single guys. Okay. Uh, um. Specialists can be any type of expert. Doctor, assassin, chemist, sniper, and navigator are all acceptable. So choose um, what your... What? <laughs> assassin, chemist, sniper. Yeah. They are so not what... the only oh, option. yeah, yeah. Yeah, what do we have? We have a tech, soldier, hacker, and... Could probably use like a doctor person. Oh, either a doctor or a navigator would probably. Okay. Um, because I have the. Ford has the doctor thing. A doctor, doctor. Yeah, I have the doctor feet. So let's take a navigator. I have perception people. Right? Uh, I have two study, but that's it. Rios are assassin. They're chemists. We have a sniper. Well, we have a sniper. I don't know. Hana is probably our assassin. Yeah, I have a bunch of points in struggle. So, I mean, you can have like, um, like a sniper and a navigator be like a scout or something. Ooh, maybe, yeah. maybe like a navigator, a <laughs> doctor navigator, doctor navigator, like full on utility person. <laughs> Yeah. Doctor Navigator. <laughs> I think that would be useful. We're very Ward and we Nyx have... are kind of utility and Miro yeah. and Han are kind of combaty. We have like fighting handled, we have like hacking and poison stuff handled, so Yeah. So a nav Doctor doc. Navigator Dominic. <laughs> Dominic Fleshing, Dr. Navigator. Cool. All right. These guys, so Dominic Fleshing, Dr. Navigator gets um, edges and flaws. <laughs> um, so they like, uh, these are like, um, um, like character uh, traits. So like, I'll just Any flaws as yeah. So, so can have pick a bunch of these. Edges. So as many edges, you have to have flaws. Loyal might be good to have. How many how many edges do we want? Independent might be good, especially if he's a doctor and we're all like all armed. Dying. Yeah. <laughs> but we could take loyal and independent and the loyal, independent, and like And then two flaws. Principled maybe. Principled would make sense for a doctor. 
Yeah. And then independent could match with eager. Yeah, eager. There you go. Cool. To do, but also he just sort of does whatever he thinks is best. <laughs> yeah. Dominic. <laughs> but he doesn't betray it. All right, sweet. Cohort name is K Dominic. Ooh, cohort can suffer harm. Flashing edges are independent and loyal. Yes. All right. Flaws. E. E. Gur. They making me spell words and don't spell that often. Rinse applied. Okay. Cool. Gang. Oh, well. Okay. There he is. Got good Dominic. Cool. Got a buddy. If you bring him with you on any of your uh, missions, you can do stuff. Do do stuff for you, just like the other fleshings did. Excellent. Nice. The fleshings return. <laughs> they must always be in our campaigns. All right. All right. Uh, Rio, do you want to do anything for your last? Uh, no time action. Let's see. What do you do? Hmm. Get another fleshing if you want. Could uh, schmooze. Because that worked really well last time. Um, we emailed our boss's boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, make something work towards getting a new quirk. Yeah, uh, work towards uh, getting a new quirk. I'm gonna uh, fiddle around with my uh, my mech, see if I can uh, do something to uh, you know, get its uh, accuracy up a little bit. Bit better. It seems to have a uh, some problems with that. Okay. Um, you should have an. Did we talk about this before? But an enhanced track. I think that's on. Wait, that should be vehicle stuff. Whatever the hell your vehicle is. Okay, here we go. Works blank. Um. I love this game. Okay, let me just check something. I think you are supposed to have a um, enhanced track on your vehicle sheet, but because we're using the other sheets, uh, it's not on there. So let me see on the actual beam saber sheets. Open the PDF. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There it is. So you should have a like a six step um clock on your vehicle sheet that um you can just like roll your engineer for and I'll treat it as like a um a uh, sort of like a long term project kind of deal. Did you get that? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Um, I believe that a five is two ticks on your enhance. 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 <laughs> Nice. I'm Sweet. My Mac. 
You're enhancing. You're, uh... Magnifies. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Nyx, do you want to do anything for your last one? I will go toward the fitted. Can you please <laughs> help with the mag? I, I, I keep asking Rio, and I don't want to be mean, but... Uh, I don't know if he's not taking it seriously or what. It's just been very slow going. Can you help? We, we can try. Our mech is not quite the same as your mech, but we shall take a look and Ward starts spawning all of these tentacles and starts <laughs> moving towards your back. Thank you. Grab your tentacle uh, motions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. Something. That's two ticks. Oh, it's done. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> finally. <laughs> My mech is finally working. <laughs> and we took four sessions. So oh many. Jesus. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was... Let's never do that again. We we, we know not, not to um, do group checks with the mags. Yes. Yeah, just do it with your bodies. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine. Right, cool. we, we can get fucked up. The, not the mags. Not the mags. Our That's fucked up. Huh? Must protect. Yeah. Great, awesome. Glad that's finally over with. <laughs> now you can do things. <laughs> now you can do things. Next session. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think that wraps up. Is there anything anybody else wanted to do? I was going to research the gun. Sure. But now I sort of want to finish this finding the rival thing. Sure. Do, do whatever you want. Either way, you're going to have to spend something to do it. Yeah, I'll spend whatever, I don't know, whatever we have to try whatever to find the right have. Whatever we have. Whatever, whatever we, we have. have so much. <laughs> whatever the million things we have. Who cares? I think, yeah, either, either, way, either way you'll be doing a long-term project, so it'll be personnel. Yeah. And then I'll expend another one to get an extra day. Okay. Or study again. Another five. Five, that's two. So that fills it that up. Finishes it up for you. Um, what do you do here to study? Uh, do you just... For this one, I think she goes out herself to like these locations, to like this neighborhood, um, and just spend some time like staking the area out, trying to spot her herself. Okay. <laughs> um, since you're finishing this clock, I'll let you kind of like lead this. What do you want? Like, what's do you like want to confront her, or do you want to just like, oh, I know where you live now, and um, maybe save it for later? I don't know. I feel like if I confront her, she'll try to stab me again. Uh, <laughs> for now, I just. I think I just want to figure out where she's staying and like make sure that it's actually her. And okay. then I can speak to everyone else about it in the future at some point. Cool. Bring it up that I've found out where she is. <laughs> and you can all jump her at once. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You're like um hanging out in this neighborhood. It takes you but like probably a full day to just retrace these steps that this um, private investigator like laid out for you. Um, so you like start by like going to um, this building that she was walking out of initially. And it was like this um, like office building it was kind of like pretty nondescript. Um, it looked like it was like probably like some sort of like, I don't know, cargo business where they do a lot of like off-world shipping. Um, I think particularly interesting you kind of like maybe wander around there for a little and you're like okay this isn't doing anything she's not here right now at like the same time that she was before 
Um, so you like move on to um, one of the other places that I mentioned. <laughs> Already don't remember. Uh -huh. There was the club, supermarket, and supermarket. A business that was the skyscraper one. place. Yes, yes. Um, so you head over to the market, which is um, kind of like a little bit of a like a farmer's market deal where there's like a lot of like little vendors. Um, and it's a very crowded, very bustling place, very colorful place. Um, an easy place you think worth someone who had uh, bright blue hair to um, hide in because everybody here is um, multicolored and it's very beautiful. Um, but you like linger around here for a little bit. And you're like, I don't know if I should like hang out here for any longer, but I also don't want to like wait until dark to go to the club because like, what if you get jumped in a club and you're by yourself again? So you're like just about to leave, I think. And you're like, um, maybe like doing like one more like perimeter of the place. Um, and I think that's when you spot her. She's, um... Like, leaving um, sort of, like, a side entrance, like, in between two um, stalls. Like, maybe one of them's, like, a fish dealer and the other one's, like, a some sort of a mango dealer, but future mangoes. Future mangoes. <laughs> mangaroos. <laughs> mangaroos. <laughs> fish on one side, mangaroos on the other. And she's kind of, oh, like, God. squeezing in between these two. Um, and she's got, like, a couple, like, grocery bags in her hand. She looks very mundane. Um, but, like, I think, like, the biggest thing is she's wearing, like, a ball cap. Um, and she has, like, this um, big, chunky-looking backpack on her back. And I think you, after, like, seeing, like, the weird spider legs on her back, it's probably, like, to hide those in some way. To not, like, shout out to the world, hey, I'm Joven Gal, and I'm chilling out here in EXO, you know? Um, and you had the before we were separated that she didn't have those right yeah those are new so like a more to you. Recent, okay. yeah um so you can't see them now but there is this big chunky backpack that you could probably assume that's where they're hanging out mm -hmm. um she has like a um like a big pistol like <laughs> just uh, on her hip like doesn't care um kind of in like um uh, like military style like um like cargo pants boots just like a t-shirt um and she's just like leaving the market with like a couple of grocery bags um i think she probably like walks out to um like the street and like pulls up um some like holographic phone screen and like calls for like a uber or something <laughs> hangs around for a while i think for a second i don't know if you do anything but uh yeah I, I stick around and like if i see her like calling up like a car i'll do the same okay <laughs> so just follow her yeah uh it's pretty easy for you to get a cab um probably around the same time that she does they're uh floaty cars i guess uh, no wheels in the future um um you tell the uh car driver to just follow the one right in front of you and yeah um, I think you drive for kind of a while, I think. You end up, like, her taxi ends up driving off the city. And, like, I mean, like, off the city, as in, like, the city, like, it's on a raised platform that moves. So, like, if the land is no longer profitable they can just move the city um so like there's like ramps that are like used as like roads like throughout like the perimeter of this um like raised platform where the city is and you kind of the taxis both just kind of start moving down those and she kind of <laughs> um the taxi kind of drives for a while and then like um you come across like a uh like a real dingy looking like mining town that like can't move at all so like it doesn't um get a lot of the same kind of upkeep as the city does um and uh she 
gets out of this taxi in this like little mining town and um i don't know do you get out also yeah <laughs> okay how far away are you from her because like this is like kind of a little bit of a ghost town here um as as far as she can be while still like keeping her in sight okay um yeah, I mean, you're probably like dipping around corners and stuff yeah. to like. She's wearing like, like those outfits that idols wear when they don't want to be recognized. <laughs> she has like, like a mask also, on, like sunglasses. You know, sunglasses, mask, also like a ball cap, hood up. Yeah. <laughs> um. You follow her for a while, and she doesn't like walk very far with like her grocery bags. Um, she like goes up to like kind of like a normal suburban looking house like knocks on the front door the door opens and she walks inside and that shuts behind her do i see who opens it um i don't think so but you do see like it this is like broad daylight right now and like inside this like a normal house is like pitch black okay i'll just mark it down in my memory of where the house is Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it's pretty easy to like get an address too from this place. Also, yeah. if you like want to. And I think she just watches the house for like a couple of hours. See cool, if cool, anyone cool. else like comes in or out. It's pretty silent. After she came in. After that, maybe like yeah. a car leaves. But like, if you like sneak a peek inside that car as it's leaving, it just kind of looks like a, a guy. Okay. So yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, no. So that yeah. so that's another tick on my overall drive then? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything anybody else wants to do as like extra downtime actions? Just RP whatever nope. stuff? Nope. Okay. Cool. I spent a whole lot of free time trying to explain explain to a uh, ward the intricacies of the <laughs> BSPN franchise. Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> All right. You spent a lot of your free time doing that and ward um in between each of these long explanations. You get a break every once in a while. <laughs> Rio goes to like pee or something. <laughs> um, um, I think what happens is that <clears throat> Ward, you're kind of like finishing up, um, like a lot of this research on like leap specifically, and you're like kind of confuddled. You're like, I'm getting all this stuff, but like none of it's like really relating to what I need, and I don't know why any of this is important. Yes. Um, when, like, um, you're, like, just entering the base, um, after sucking up some data from some data centers, and you get a blip, um, from one of your buddies, um, you gotta find out which one I said this was gonna be, because I forgot, um, the traitor. They ring you up, um, and you don't, like, hear from them too often. Um, um, but they're... <clears throat> traitor. No, a trader. Trader. Like, to trade things. Um, mercantilism. <laughs> Goods and services. Goods and services. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, they, they bring you up and they're like, um, how do you guys talk? Um, oh, do other tests call you Ward? Uh, or do they just call you Tess? They just call Tess. Okay. Um, they bring you up and they're like... <laughs> Tess, I, not I, we, 
<laughs> haven't been in contact with the hive mind recently, so you might not be aware, but we wanted to inform you that another one of our operatives has located a rogue. Tess. And we knew that you were looking for some to sort of sweep the remaining rogue agents. Our Tess had spotted this rogue on an oil rig far in the center of the ocean. It almost seems like this rogue Tess, if we can even call them that anymore, wasn't on the oil rig <laughs> to um, get oil. Uh, we were hoping from um, this part of the hive mind to yours that you could investigate their uh, operations and perhaps go under the water and see if this test is <laughs> being nefarious in some way. And I think you like get um um this test they they like send you some files um and their friend Tess whatever um um seems to have like gotten images of a very similar looking uh robotic floating test um on an oil rig with a couple other um kind of uh, uh, also augmented, but in like different ways, um, Tess. And then they like seem to be like, um, in these images, they're like on this oil rig talking to a couple of humans. Um, and then they seem to be like getting into mechs and then jumping down and going into the water. They have mechs. Interesting. Very well. We shall uh, work on this. Yeah, did recently come across some information about a rogue within the area, but came up on a dead end. Perhaps this is one that we were looking for. We hope so. It would be a shame to let such a squad of traitors uh, be on the loose for any longer. Um, and I think, yeah, 
Unless you have any more questions. How how augmented were the others in comparison? To um, I think they were probably just as augmented, but in different ways. So, like, okay. the main one was, like, robotic, but then there was another one that had, like, more organic augmentations to it. Um, a variety of changed tests somehow. Okay, there is, there's a lot of them. It's... You got um, the the uh, pictures show about four of them total. So four plus the rival, five in total. Uh, no, four in total. So four in total. The rival plus three. Concerning. Um, but yeah, this test gives you like um, a bunch of information like about where this oil rig is located and like who owns it, stuff like that. So you may go there at your ledger. Okay. Excellent. But it did seem somewhat urgent. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So, are you going to bring something anybody? <laughs> yeah. Because, um, yeah, that was the plot hook. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I guess. I guess this would be a good way to mention loop. So, er, loop. It's close. There's two vowels. Yes. <laughs> like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Loop um, another NPC. Loop. Loop. Um. So. Ward will, I guess, uh, mentally ping everyone and ask everyone to gather in the uh, or the theater. We gather. You gather. Um, things have been somewhat quiet lately, so we have been doing a bit of personal research, and it appears that uh, we have stumbled upon some very interesting but concerning information, um, and Lord Will or drop everything about um, looking into the uh, the rogue and finding the uh, person who gave them floppy drive, flash drive with all of the information on sleep and all of the crazy stuff that they deciphered from the the leap drive, um, and then the most recent information 
from the other tests about how not only is there one rogue, but it appears that there is an entire squad of them um, doing some business at an oil rig. And they are piloting mechs, which is very concerning because typically tests do not deal with mechs variety of reasons and also all the wait, like augmented stuff wait so the thing you have isn't considered a mech um it's it's a i mean i i call it a mech but it's it's a living creature okay but they're in like mechanical like actual like mechanical things i believe so I yeah they were on how that was working. All right. So what do you, what are we? What do you want us to do? To the um, well, if you are very interested in. Doing some on location research. Trying to figure out what they seem to want with this this oil rig. If they have uh less than savory plans. And also whether or not they pose a danger to the the hive mind. Um this technically is Test business, but their numbers far outweigh mine. Ours, ours, as in <laughs> points tentacle itself. Um, this one's yeah, but and as much as we would like to believe that they can be brought back to the mind, um, the collective. Um, it is possible that they may be less than welcoming if assistance would be needed if we're willing to accompany us there. If it comes down to a fight with them, are you all right with them being... Eliminated? It pains us to resort to that, but this is what we have done before. There are rogues who harbor ill will the collective after leaving the hive mind and in the um what's the for the for the greater good of all pests and for the hive mind in general it is best to prevent them from uh doing anything that would cause great harm All right. If it comes down to it, then we'll do what must be done. All right, I'm in. Let's go to middle of the ocean. And That's you said fun. we're going to be going underwater? Uh, it is likely. It seems that from the footage we received, it's they took their mechs underwater. There may be something uh, beneath the surface that would be of interest to us. Is this 
location like on planet like for like do we need to call up kicks and do we need the ship or it's here i yeah i think it's on planet it's when tess is in the area soon they're still around well i mean you guys just went along with uh that last mess that I brought us into, so I'm going. Yeah, I'm I'm more than willing to help you. Onwards. <laughs> We're leaving Ro behind. Yes. This is Ro's falling asleep he, in he's his just sleeping. Yeah. Just uh, kick him up. We'll be good. <laughs> Wait, we'll just ask Kicks to drag him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll, he, uh, he just wakes up in the middle of the mission. <laughs> tow him. <laughs> tow the mech along. He just wakes up in the middle of a firefight underwater. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> Where am I? Um. Okay. So... I will say that you, without like doing any research, I don't think you like need to do any research to know this, that like, this is like a oil rig that's like owned by a company. So you would probably need a reason to be on it. Um, or you could just, just forget about it and jump right in the water. Um, that's really up to you. But if you do want to like actually like get on the oil rig, then you'll have to like do something about that. Um, and I think you guys also know before you guys like do any gather informations or extra stuff that you want to do beforehand, um, you guys know that your mechs, um, are able to function in space. Um, however, the pressure from the bottom of the ocean <laughs> makes working with your mechs incredibly difficult. Um, so I will just say, um, if you do end up going below the surface um, without aid at all, um, rolling a one on an action roll you take will be treated more severely, and rolling a four will be treated as a failure. Okay. Um, you can negate these penalties by doing, like, spending um, material personnel beforehand. Um, like, can, like, consider this as, like, a... Yeah, can we get, like, to like waterproof your stuff, you all would have to do it separately um, and roll for it. Um, or while you're there, you can expend stress quarks, items, whatever collateral to um, negate that effect. I think it would be worth getting gear. <laughs> I Some think our rolls in this game have not uh... been great. Yeah, and if fours <laughs> are considered failures, too, yeah. then we're screwed. Then all our mechs will break, and we'll all need to spend another four sessions fixing. Not that we'll roll anything I mean, better than a three. If this we're is being what I want. Honest, I'm the one that uses the mech the least. I just fixed it, but I'm <laughs> I'm still probably gonna be doing more hiking then. Yeah. So I think it, like, Rio is very combat oriented, so he might be worth waterproofing. And I don't know who else. I think. Yeah, mine is pretty combat heavy too. So that's cool. two. And we can do those two. And if it, well, and then we can decide if we want to do uh, a third one. It's just yeah, we'll see how successful you are. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, so we got to roll to do this? You just got to roll with like, well, it depends how you want to go about it. But either way, you're going to have to spend material or personnel to do so. So, like, you can, like, spend materiel to fix it yourself and roll an engineer, or you can spend a personnel to have someone else fix it for you and roll, like, some sort of sway stat. Oh, yeah, I have a mechanic person in my idol group. At least. <laughs> oh, that's right. Your yeah. idol friend is a mechanic. Well, mechanic. And the other How convenient. A scientist. <laughs> yeah, one's a scientist and one's a mechanic. Do you find I love women in STEM. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hashtag considering staff. considering one of them's an one of them's a scientist, one of them's a mechanic, and then the other one is like a 
Ted's daughter. So it's a pretty weird. Yeah. Group. <laughs> yeah. So do we okay. all have like day jobs in between the idol? And... Sort of, yeah. They're all working. They all they position. all work for Exa. <laughs> Okay, so um, if you want to like call her up, you'll have to spend a personnel for that. Yeah, uh, I will. And then roll whatever um, um, personnel stat roll you would roll for this. Sway. Can I spend another personnel to get a bonus dice on this, or is that? Um, we're not. It's not an action roll, so sure. A six. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, I have not been keeping track of these. <laughs> we had a ton of personnel. We didn't, didn't use any of them. We didn't use any yeah. of these until 11. We are about to lose everything. Thank you. Forgot to mark them. Yeah, no, so true. No, I know how many. I've, I've been keeping track. Totally. Totally. I mean, yeah, I use like... You, yeah, like five. Four or five. <laughs> um, I used run, two for one. the flushing. Yeah. Yeah. Was that all personnel? I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'll have to. Go, I can go back and re-listen to it, but um, I will just mark off that you've used a bunch. I didn't say which one I used, but I think all of mine would probably end up being personnel. Yeah, since you were doing like people what stuff, about, like people things. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay, so you go to her, and you're like, what do you do to, um, hey, waterproof me? Yeah, I'm going to be, I have a job uh, that requires me taking my mech underwater. <laughs> Can you outfit it with the necessary uh, gear? So... I don't get crushed to death, then I can actually utilize the mech properly. Wait, this is Jean. Um, is she the one that <laughs> was on ecstasy later earlier? <laughs> or was... I think so. Yeah, she's the leader that was on ecstasy. With, okay, like, yeah, so date, she's the I crazy. Think. She's the crazy Jeez. one, I guess. <laughs> she's, the, she's the outgoing one. <laughs> right, okay. You, like, approach her with this, and she's like, yeah, hey, don't worry about it. You do crazy shit all the time, and you never tell me about it. So, uh, what's another thing? Um, yeah, you just need this stuff waterproofed? Is that it? Uh, yeah. Okay, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you guys probably find time, like, like, right after, like, a dance practice? Yeah. Session or something, and she just, uh... Does she... It just like pops over to Kwanya and fixes it up for you? Um, or do you take it to her? <laughs> uh, that's probably better than me like trying to take the mech out and taking it to her. Okay. She I'll says hi to everybody. She's like, oh them. wow, these are all your friends that you brought with you to, to the club? I didn't yeah, realize that you knew all of them. There wasn't really a good time to introduce you to them at the club, but um. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, fine. I I know. <laughs> you were having quite She's a bit of fun there. Of so. Oh, are you embarrassed of them? I mean, no, not really. Did I ever do. Wow, you you had to think about it. Yeah, I right. I was joking, but now I feel a little offended. Wow. <laughs> Listen, you all are. You're you're great. You you are. But the... I feel a butt coming. If you want to think there's a butt, you can think so. I will not say any more. Okay. Yeah. Just show me where your mech is, and um... I yeah, won't I'll... judge you for your weird relationship with your friends. Friends? Quotation marks. Air quotes. I'll I'll take over to like the underground hangar thing we have. All right. Yeah, she fixes it up uh, pretty easily. I think, like, the majority of the we? stuff that <laughs> co-workers put, any more than that. Um, I think, like, the, the biggest thing that she does is, like, replaces a lot of, like, the, the, the glass with, like, um, 
like plexi or like more like water resistant material like um blocks a lot of like any like open wiring with uh um extra stuff and just kind of like um reinforces a lot of the things that could be damaged by heavy pressure um but yeah she like gives you a thumbs up and she's like let me know if you need to uh de-waterproof this thing at all because it looks a little junky now but <laughs> yeah uh thanks for the help no problem i will let you know how it goes of course uh and she um heads out on her way did you want to do another one another mech i think we wanted to do one for rio yeah yeah all right so rio are you um doing it yourself or are you gonna have or are you gonna bring someone in to do it for you i'm feeling lucky <laughs> okay hey, it's okay <laughs> rolling it to an engineering let's do it what he rolled really well for himself, though. Oh. <laughs> Rolling it to in engineering. Wow, you called it too. Wow, I drown. <laughs> you drown. You you dump this thing in water and it just you sinks. leave a giant crack in the glass. <laughs> um. So that's another. That's a material because you did it yourself. Um. Yeah, I lost my wrench, so I just like put some putty over some screws. I was like, that's the same thing. That's enough, right? Yeah, you, you know, it looks like it's enough to you. Um, where, but then everybody else shows up. Engineering. <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> well, technically, I don't have a degree. Technically, I also didn't finish high school. Ward is silently judging you. Hannah just nods and like mutters under her breath, like, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Sure, I mean, school isn't everything, but, um, well, I should say nothing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, Rio, you're pretty confident in your work with your putty and stuff. You, like, see that, like, um, <laughs> Hannah's friend is, like, doing all this, like, crazy shit on her end, and, she, and you're like, oh, I don't need Plexia, I just need to, you know. Just cover up some of the loose I'm holes and stuff. It's easy. Work. I'm just like, it's so complicated. Why, why it's totally unnecessary. Silly putty on it. Yeah. Low, low. Are and you insane? <laughs> Look, there is nothing duct tape can't fix. And, and if you buy something duct tape can't fix, silly putty can do it. Sure, just, just wrap your mech up with putty and duct tape and we'll see how that goes. Hey, I mean, what he's think, the what do, you, what, do think, he's... what do you think I do before every fight? He's Maybe that's why your aim is off all the time. Probably just need more duct tape. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think uh, Rio, you like step back and you're like, "That's easy. It's gonna be no big deal." And everybody else shows up and they're like, "That's not gonna work, dude. That's not gonna work." Um, I'm recording the disaster. So. You, I'm, I don't think you guys have enough time to try again. So you got one mech That's to fair. waterproofed. Nice. Does Ward want to try to get one since we failed the second one? Uh, yeah, I think Ward would want to do it regardless just because it is, it is possible that maybe an underwater encounter. Sure. These rogues. Um, and Ward is an engineer, so. All right. Yeah. Good. You engineer the fuck out of this uh, creature. <laughs> give it <Yes>. gills. <laughs> you give it you give it gills, that's what you do. <laughs> Amazing. You genetically engineer gills onto the yes. thing. Um Yeah. Um you give it like maybe like a shell a little on the top so it like um can withstand a lot of pressure. Um but yeah, yeah, yours looks great. Yeah. Yours and Hannah's just they look great. Rio's is a little I mean, he kind of like added, actually like added scratches to it, so um, it looks worse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> totally functional. 
It works. Yeah, exactly. Or just tilts for, their for head, now. stares at goes back. Look, I, I know you think it's going to break down, but that's exactly why I keep a roll of duct tape in the cockpit. <laughs> that really what you use for your repairs? <laughs> for the minor repairs. You know? Define minor. Well, it's, tar- it's starting to make sense why it oh, took If, you know, one of your hoses has, like, you know, a little tear, you just throw some duct tape on it. Nick, I don't think you should go to him anymore for repairs. <laughs> we understand uh, now yeah. why it took so long. That's why it took, like, four You don't months need to break, break out the welding torch. Most of the time. Most of the time. <sighs> this is not my area of expertise. I'm not gonna bother here. Or Fine. his. Okay. I see how it is. <laughs> All right. Um. We can. So you guys are 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 properly quotation marks. Um. Butterfly. Equipped enough t- for the bottom of the ocean. Um. I guess this is like, um, what kind of information do you want to gather about this now? Are we going to be like sneaking on to this oil rig or are we like getting in contact with whoever owns it and being like, hey, we're coming on to your property? I guess we (laughs) should find out who owns the oil rig first. True. Then we can can go from there. there. So one roll to figure out who owns it. Okay. I guess I could do that. Maybe if I can. Sure about the area in general. Can or like study the area, I guess. What would be like underwater in that particular location? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Can we like figure out what those mechs might be capable of based on like the pictures you have of them? Or is that like too vague? I think between the pictures plus the like background knowledge of Ward knowing that very few tests um, use Max in the first place could give a good starting point for figuring out like capabilities. So maybe their their the combat prowess of their particular mechs. Yeah, maybe cool. see if like they're all waterproof as well. Sweet. So Ward could do that then, I guess. Anything else? You've got three right now. Uh, I guess the last one can depend on once we figure out who owns the rig. Like if we need to, I don't know, like talk to someone there. Or... Yeah. So okay. We might need like floor plans or contact. But you're gonna like sneak in or. Mm-hmm. So who's doing? Who's rolling for the rig? I think Steph said she was going to. Yeah, I can do that. All right. I will hack around, investigate. Do your investigative skills. All right, everybody roll d6. I want you to get. Oh, sure, it's a d6? Is it supposed to be yep. something else? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Roll. Uh, two. Rio rolls. And roll damage. Nothing. Um, okay. They're also, fine. Start. They're fine. I really would have liked our averages in this game. <laughs> Three. Probably. <Four>. <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Okay. Before I tell you guys about this, I have a question. Since downtime ran kind of late, do you want to roll the engagement roll next week? And start and just do that? I mean... Um, it's only been like two hours. I can't right now. Okay. How long do you think this thing will take? I mean, if... How this goes, if a rival shows up, it'll probably take some time. Is a rival going to show? I don't know. Depends on whether or not Ward decides to... <laughs> I mean, it, it. We are literally chasing. My I mean, yeah, aren't, aren't we? Aren't we going looking for the rival? Yeah, but you you haven't like um, declared rival yet, so she wouldn't like be your rival. But if you do like mid session, then things would change. Okay. Um, and sure. then it would make it longer. And I kind of had already like planned on this being like a little bit more, like a little bit of a longer Scorer. mission in the first place. So I'll tell you guys about all the like information now but i might end it there just because i know i have to get up early in the morning oh yeah. okay no yeah that's fine and yeah i think it would run pretty late <laughs> if we did it now okay tomorrow's session will be lost yeah that's fine with me anyways i don't know you guys have like a million things to do tomorrow i'm just gonna be talking for like a lot of talking. Five hours again. A lot of talking. Yeah. Just lot split of talking. it into two downtime sessions. <laughs> you mean three? three. Yeah, it'll be your third. Been one, so. <laughs> this is fine. I, I really don't want to have three full sessions. <laughs> Just give it a time limit and we'll squeeze it in. Probably, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I think I will. We could just bring Zin back, kick his ass again. And then resume downtime. And then and then yeah. keep keep going to what we were doing. Just throw some combat yeah. in there and then... <laughs> make it a little spicy and then come back it to it. It doesn't count as continuous downtime if we have some combat. Like guys, we, we got a spring. We've been sitting around the house for too long. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling weak. <laughs> it's fine. We can just uh Evilier and Bell can just have a fight. Yeah. Yeah. So That's part, part of your training. Part of your training. No, your grandma has Val and Evelier Star. <laughs> Figure out what all of Evelier spells are. Okay. All right. I will tell you all of this, and then we will wrap up. So, also, that gives me more time to, like, more plan intricately the, plan yeah. this thing. Um, okay, so, Hannah did geography. Um... This oil rig is above um, the deepest part of the ocean. Flat out. <laughs> um, I don't know very much about oil, how, how, how people mine, mine suck up oil out of the ground. I don't know. Vacuum it. Uh, pump it. Whatever. Uh, not my forte. Um, but this rig, because it's in the future, I can say it's doing whatever I want it to. <laughs> um, and... Uh, they are um, mining for something, seems like, um, at the deepest part of this planet's oceans. Um, it is deeper than, like, the Mariana Trench here on Earth. It's, instead of being seven miles, it is eight and a half. Um, it goes very far underground, or not even underground, it goes very far um, below the surface. Um, you know, like, um, it is um, not really like a trench that made this thing so deep. It's sort of like, um, like, just on, like, uh, if you find, like, topographical maps of the bottom of this part of the ocean, it almost, it looks a lot more like um, the very lowest point of a crater. Um, um, that, like had maybe at one point i think a lot of like geologists and uh were, were have like speculated that like this part of the ocean was like oh yeah um at one point like dried up and then like some meteor big ass meteor hit it and then we got ocean again i don't know um so it goes very deep for a very long way and it's very flat at the bottom around this area um and it sort of like rises up a little bit on these on like it's like maybe like a 
two and a half mile long crater on like um like full diameter um and then it like raises up into these mountains um at the bottom um i think if you like since you rolled a six yeah uh yeah um yeah you get like the most updated topographical maps um that like you can get your hands on um and it looks like that there is some sort of um facility down there down um, like a crater down in the center of the crater like directly below this rig um it's a uh, not a very large facility by way of like surface area like it doesn't like take up a lot of space but it's like tall because it can be because it's you know, just there's like it won't peak <laughs> out of the water um it's a pretty tall facility uh um like it's big enough for like your mech to just be able to walk around inside um which could be a good thing for you um I don't think <sighs> with a six. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I tell you everything. Do I get all um, the things? Facility. You can get um. E yeah, I think I'll let you have a floor plan. A floor plan of the facility. I'll let you have a floor plan, but I don't think you will. You can like figure out why that facility is there or what it does. Um, by just do doing I, research. Do I know they're mining? Um. I think um, a lot of it just points to oil. Okay. But it is strange to see like a facility where you can walk around in like under the water this deep. Because um, oil mining where they actually like penetrate the surface is very noisy and um, dangerous to be near. So this is strange. Um, okay. Yeah, but you do get a floor plan and um, it's like a uh, like three like major rooms with like hallways going in between. They're very tall rooms, um, like a hangar for Max or like uh, working equipment where people are actually in. And then like one other room that just says like uh, um, like mining room. Mining room. Are the three rooms labeled anything? Um. Yeah. I mean, like the. There's like, they're like three in a row, kind of in like a horizontal. They like all like connect to each other in like a line. And like there's one on the end that just says hanger. And then one in the center that's like a, kind of like a everything room. And then um, the very, um, that other, the last one, I guess, is the mining room. Okay, I think I misunderstood. I thought you had said there were three rooms, and then there was a mining room. No, yeah, no, there's three total. Yeah, okay. kind of boxy looking rooms with like hallways attaching them. Um. Okay, so there's some sort of facility down there. Let's see, for who owns? Wait, uh, that's Ron or Ward. Um, the Max. Um, Ward, I think you find out, ooh, with a two. Yeah. Um, you find out that these mechs, despite the fact that they're, all these, um, rogue tests are, like, seemingly from, like, like, have augmentations from different factions, all of these mechs seem to look like they're from the same place. Um. And they are, I'm not going to like, I can't like give you a ton because you rolled a two, but I will oh. say that these are um, from a faction you haven't encountered before. Um, the, um, how are they called? The Celestial Apiron. They're the theocracy or the, the really religious ones. Theocracy. Um, you can recognize 
them. I'll just show you pictures of what they have. They have um, two of each of these mechs. And I will just show you pictures, but I don't think you can get any, like, major... Details where the fuck did I put some details about what they do? But I will show you the pictures. Where is my beam saber folder? Beam. One. And two. Two. Celestial ape iron. Ape iron. <laughs> ape iron. Ape why iron. Is the, why is the theocracy helping these dudes? Where's the other one? There it is. If their mechs are not ape themed, I will be upset. I'm sorry, they're not apes. They look like this. Whoa, that looks cool. So there's one of each of those. Nice. Oh, hello. There's wait, so there's arms. two mechs? There's four total. Oh, so it's like two two? Yep. Just These lag. are cool mechs. Should steal them. Can we take their mech? <laughs> you, you get them now. You have to be religious though, sorry. Ours, no. You have to worship the stars. Can I convert? <laughs> uh, sure. You have, to, you have to pray the entire time you're inside the mech. <laughs> <laughs> Can we swap to your faction? Uh... Hey, your faction actually rips. I don't want to be EXO anymore. <laughs> um, that's what you get out of that. That they look sick. And they're religious. Um, last one is Nyx, who owns the rig. I will give you a name, and I think that's all I will give you. Where did I put the name? Where did I put it? I literally just said it earlier today. No, oh, Apex Empire Military Industries, or Amy. Oh. <laughs> so the Amazon company. Yeah. Apex Empire. Peace. I just just fucking slaughtered this. M. M. Pyre Industries. Okay. <laughs> Why did I type this all out instead of just copy pasting it? Amy. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could speak to them. Wait, but then you said that the rogue tests were like speaking with the people there. Yeah. So like they know they're there. It's not like the rogue tests are sneaking into the it's Ooh. like also like you're like I mean like there was no like audio at all. It was just images, so you like couldn't tell if like they were like, you know, like threatening them or if they were like actually speaking to them like they were working together or if they were like yeah. you know, bullshitting it like they're an adventuring party. It's tough to say. Like them them letting mechs in like another faction is interesting. Mm-hmm. No, maybe it's better if we sneak in. But then we're not good at sneaking in. <laughs> I'll take that prowl, though. Oh, wait, you're sneaking with your mechs. Yeah. Which is why Steph's mech got broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, go ahead and group sneak, guys. Let's all group sneak again. That yeah. sounds fun. Let's, let's not. Who who wants to break their mech for the next four sessions? <laughs> We'll Spend all turns. your downtime <laughs> fixing your mech. We all take turns breaking our mechs. <laughs> Although, I don't know. We might... People without waterproof mechs might break them anyways. Yeah, who knows? Just gotta get inside that building. It will be fine. Yeah. But with that, um, we'll pick this up next week where you actually jump in. Right. Oh, wait. Will you be running this week? I thought you said you might... Be here? Yeah, I was um, supposed to go to Massachusetts with my dad, but I think I will not. Okay. Because I don't feel like trying to get work off. <laughs> <laughs> so. so we can... Absolutely nothing to offer. Yeah, I mean, I would just be visiting my grandpa who like lives in Springfield, so... <laughs> oh, yeah. We definitely have nothing to offer in Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just go to. I'll just go to fucking Yankee Candle and call it the day. All right, we can finish this next week then. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. Sweet. All right. Nice. All right. Thanks for running, Sarah. Yeah.
Thank you for playing. Yeah, it was fun. Have fun. Bye. Night. See you guys Bye. Tomorrow. Bye.